different street art festivals we we support and, and, and we we love street art we sort of the difference that these festivals had in those communities so that's where we sort of thought man we need to do this in our own hometown because it hadn't been done before so that's where we came up with the concept of doing street prints Moa in Mount Monganui uh, was so that we could bring that same feeling to my hometown so that's why Mount Monganui I wanted to depict uh, a local person and uh, I found Perry. So uh, opening day when we climbed up the mountain, Perry and a couple of others did the ceremony for us all. So he's a, a local Maori guy who uh, yeah, presented us, invited us with a, a Maori ceremony. And uh, so I got a portrait of him. I got some like uh, graphic shapes going through it, which is depicting uh, symbolic of water. And then behind him, I just got like a, a circle, which is, you know, could be seen as uh, the sun or the moon or a navigation. The Maori traditionally navigators over long distances and on water. My people and my people are my children. I have two boys. Um, the 11 year old is um, the feature. And then all the flying birds, um, which is the kotare. And my uh, little small boy, his middle name is kotare. So those birds represent and, and the face, they represent my tamariki, my children. Yeah, basically there's a glass of water here. So in Laos, people is like completely 90 degrees. And then in Spain, they are completely handstand from here. And you can see everyone in different position at the same time. Every glass has like 65% of water, which is the same amount of water we have in our body. So. Um, and I didn't take a very literal approach with that. I didn't paint a portrait or anything. Instead, I kind of painted all the things, well, elements of the earth that I think are really important and I think it's our role as the people to look after that, you know, they may not be able to look after themselves. More of a, like a kaitiaki or like a guardian kind of approach. The concept was about family. Um, I specifically wanted to paint someone who was pregnant um, because I was here two years ago and uh, the Maori couple who um, put the festival on they basically welcomed me into their home like I was family anyway. And so I really wanted to kind of um, express the gratitude of that back to them. I think it's really good because it gives me more sort of experience with like street painting and that kind of thing. And you know, just like get involved with other artists and get to meet other artists. It feels really good. It feels more like a community. Yeah. Um, I feel it's also quite good for other young people, especially those who I've seen like some really good things from other young people who like in the youth mentoring and they're doing like so much more with their initiative and yeah no I think it's really good that they do this type of thing because it gets people more into the arts um, and yeah even if it is street painting and mural painting and yeah. yeah. Working together a portrait, an element um, of portraiture which is Graham Poetsy, Mr G local artist, uh, so he's mana whenua from here, from both his mum and dad's side, which is really nice. And it's been an honour and privilege as well, you know, so Motitu Island is, uh, it's a small island, uh, 10 k's off the coast of uh, Tauranga Moana, or Mount Manganui Beach, and it's, uh, you know, the prevailing hapu is uh, Patuai, and uh, yeah, it's, um, it's a very simple lifestyle here, there's no electricity here, it's uh, you know, very back to basics, um, but that's the beautiful thing about it. You know, it's, it, you can get away from the hustle and bustle of city life and just come here. You've got a whole entire beach to yourself, and just uh, I love coming back here to just reset. Now this is my home. <laughs> 